Welcome to the Sheikah Clan, I'm Noah. Today I'm going to be doing a full in-depth review of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, I normally, I know I, sh I haven't done a video in a week and I'm very sorry. I wanted to get a nice taste of The Legend of Zelda and it's just really hard to explain. This video was powered by Tom's Guide. Zelda Breath of the Wild is practically basically the perfect game. But Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is good. It's a huge open world to explore, wide variety of weapons and magic, gorgeous visuals, most creative and fluid combat in any Zelda game ever. The bad thing about it, or you know, the controls have a little bit of a learning curve, so I, like I still get stuck um, pressing, get, I, like I just got my switch and I'm still getting used to the plus and minus buttons like when I'm um, opening the map on my Sheikah Slay and when I'm opening up my uh, my inventory so uh, yeah you gotta it, it, it takes a while to get used to it and I'm still at almost completing the game uh, I didn't complete I would have I'm almost there completing the game the thing is I, I like doing the side quests uh, it's really I, I, I enjoy doing them it's really the thing is they could be difficult at times now, in my opinion, it's a 10 out of 10 perfection, and it's only for $47.99 if you have Amazon Prime. Oh crap, I have to cancel my, my trial, I'm gonna get paid a fee of $10, crap, I only have 30 bucks in my account. <clears throat> well, you might have heard that there's a, there's a praise that's been showered on Nintendo's latest game starring everyone's favorite sword swinging, boomerang tossing hero. So let's be clear, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is a once in a generation kind of game. It looks in a style that has kind of a sparkle and charm that you'd expect from a classic Disney film. The title's gameplay is deeper than um, any of Zelda games that's come before it. With a giant open world packed with puzzle-filled dungeons and secrets galore, there's a ton for you to explore. We that rhymed. I didn't, I didn't mean for that to rhyme, sorry about that. Whether this is the first Zelda title you've tried out on the Switch or the, any of the titles you've played in general on the switch or the last game you've ever played on the wii u breath of the wild cannot be ignored there's a familiar world in new rules like previous zelda titles breath of the wild starts out as Link awakens in a world in need after a short greeting by a mysterious old man our hero is cast out into harsh but suddenly gorgeous world along the way you'll find a familiar equipment including swords shields and bows but unlike previous zeldas everything has a specific durability even in the middle of a fight, your sword can break or your shield can be reduced to ashes, which gives the Breath of the Wild's combat le de level of danger into vulnerability that, the vulnerability that previous games didn't really have. Then you add in environmental dangers like deadly mud pits and craggy cliffs, and then you're left with a game that presents threats on multiple fronts. But one of the best things about Breath of the Wild is the large range of methods you have for conquering these obstacles. You can take out packs of bokoblins by rolling boulders into their campsite, or instead, you could set a branch on fire and throw into a conveniently placed explosive barrel to blow them into smithereens. You can chop down trees to cross ravines, ride, snow, ride down snow-covered mountains while using your shield as a snowboard and use updrafts to play paraglide across the land you could create up updrafts sorry you could create updrafts by simply just getting a branch setting it on fire placing it on grass holding the y button uh hold it and then you could create with a fire step back jump and then it's kind of it sounds complicated but it's really not just basically set the grass on fire and then just jump and paraglide and you could get a little updraft if you're lucky enough now combat will not always be easy but you'll have a lot of options whether it's due to a variety of weapon types or links vault mo move that slows down over time so you can execute a perfect mid-air slash after jumping off your horse you'll even have fun when you die and you most certainly will die Thanks to a well-designed autosave system that rewards you for exploring and experimenting rather than forcing you to replay long stretches to get back where you were. So much to do and even more to explore. New to Zelda is cooking system, which lets you make food and then it'll give you a specific boost that attributes to, to see fit. But there's also a new magic such as the magnetism rune, which lets you move metal objects around at will so that this turns like this lovingly crafted sandbox with into a real playground but beyond that there's still so much more you can chop down trees to cross ravines ride down snow covered mountains while using your shield as a snowboard and use updrafts to paraglide paraglide ah 
and cross land. However, with all these changes, this is still, without a doubt, a classic Zelda game at heart. You're collecting hearts, clearing dungeons, and unlocking new abilities so Link can eventually take down Ganon and save Hyrule. And while all the puzzles and the game builds upon you, your newfound skills to create even harder and more engaging puzzles. When you finally get tired of wasting time chasing butterflies and collecting mushrooms, dozens of shrines will need your attention. Breath of the Wild doles out its story in bits and pieces. It's slow burn to start, never so little going on that you're lacking for motivation, but it's also not too much that feels like you're getting hit over the head. And when the time is right, Breath of the Wild's story peaks too, in ways that make previous Zelda seem bland. My only issue, which is pretty minor, is that Breath of the Wild's control scheme is takes a fair amount of time to get used to like I said previously. After 15 hours I still find myself occasionally fumbling to switch weapons quickly, as it felt like there's an extra command that didn't need to be there. And compared to bow shooting in games like Horizon Zero Dawn, sorry that I had to compare it to that, Link's archery could be just a little bit more precise. Bottom line, Breath of the Wild is a game that's so good, it makes me rethink what a scoring review really means. Sure, it would be nice if the game read at full 1080p and that the controls had a less of a learning curve, but neither of these things came anywhere close to diminishing what is absolute masterpiece, even among an already storied franchise. So when recommending this game to others, there are no caveats or reservations that can even briefly come to mind. Breath of the Wild is something anyone can enjoy and a title every gamer needs to play. It's one of those rare releases that truly deserves a 10 out of 10. Quick take, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is an absolute masterpiece on, on both the Switch and the Wii U. 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Join the Sheikah Clan. Thank you very much. Let the thing go.